Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a movie review this week. It's an 80s style action adventure comedy that's a Canada and Australian production called Turbo Kid. A story about a teenage boy who lives in an underground bunker all alone at the wastelands in Alton in 1997, searching for his favorite superhero comic book called Turbo Rider and would later soon become one once he puts on the suit that he just found in order to defeat the leader of the wastelands Zeus. Now this film had premiered at the Sundance Film Festival on January 26, 2015 and was actually funded by a program known as Indiegogo, sort of like Kickstarter which I know we had one um, during that year called uh, Kung Fury, which is an 80s style action adventure. So they thought, well, why not? <laughs> but I guess they wanted to make this movie in the style of Mad Max meets uh, BMX bikers. Also with the mix of Mega Man because of the suit itself and all these other uh, 80s nostalgia. You know, such as the synthesizers, lots of 80s music in the mix, and lots of practical gore effects. There was some CGI blood in the film, and and some cool characters. Well, some of them, by the way. Anyway, um, I had mixed feelings about this film. It had a high praise uh, at Rotten Tomatoes, as well as IMDb, and... Metacritic, you know, there are other guys who who love this movie so much, so I was going to give this movie a shot. There are other things I did love about the film, but then there are several that I didn't like. So that's why I'm going to give this movie a mixed review. But it's not bad, so let's get to it. It stars Mumworld Chambers, Lawrence LaBeouf, Michael Ironside, Edwin Wright, Aaron Jeffries, and Armando Ozari. It's written and directed by three people, Franco Sonard, Anak Wassell, and Joanne Carr Wassell. I don't know if I said their names right, but stay with me on this. The movie began set in the post-apocalyptic future of 1997. We meet a young teenage boy known as The Kid, who's played by Mumworld Chambers, who rides around on his BMX bike and wears a red and yellow star helmet and going inside an abandoned wasteland you know, where water is now becoming a rarity, where he actually wants to find all the items that's hidden around an abandoned area filled with dead skulls and skeletons all around even some dead heads hanging onto a stick anyway he found a uh, an item which turned out to be a Rubik's Cube already been stuck and then he went back inside his underground bunker where he lives all alone you know just uh, looking at all the items that he collect he's also listening to his music on a cassette player which sadly the batteries have run low yeah they were playing a cover version of a song that that's from the movie Rad the 1986 BMX uh, biker film this time uh, Stan Bush the, the singer who sang the song You Got the Touch from Transformers the movie had sung the cover version hard to believe which is okay I mean nothing much but I do love Stan Bush. Anyway, he wants up finding a vicious rat who just attacked him on a cage. He wants up killing it and took it to a, a local shop owner named Bagu, who's played by Romando Azari, and traded him for a comic book of his favorite superhero, Turbo Rider. He meets an Australian cowboy who's an arm wrestling champion named Frederick who's played by Aaron Jeffries 
who later uh, team up with all of his guys who unfortunately got killed by by a sadistic and the evil leader of the wastelands known as Zeus who has his henchmen and his sidekick named Skeletron who's played by Evan White you know the guy who's uh, wears a a huge skull has some um, football pads and some shields and even a saw for a hand you know actually sawing people's uh, bodies limb from limb till blood spoots out anyway uh, Frederick wants up uh, making a deal with Zeus by joining in a competition one of those battle royale competitions between good versus evil that's inside a chamber of, of sorts he wants up killing all of his crew and actually stuck a guy in a blender you know, a lot of blood shooting up and then you probably will know exactly what happens to Frederick at the end but luckily he survives meanwhile the kid wants up at a local playground you know, in the swains where he meets a very strange weird and awkward and very annoying mysterious girl known as Apple who's played by Lawrence LaBeouf yeah a girl who wears a headband with blonde hair some rainbow highlights yeah she also has an eyeliner with um, you know, purple dots uh, makeup and and she wears a a blue sweater and sweats yeah there you go that's Apple anyway Apple keeps following him around everywhere he goes including at his bunker and the kid decided to tell her to leave which yep because she wouldn't leave him alone yeah she now becomes his love interest yeah go figure but he decided to create his new set of rules for her in order for them to survive so they went inside to find some more weapons uh, for her to to use in order to attack all these bad guys they found a car that has a dead skeleton yeah there was a snake you know that went inside and then he found a bat that he gave for her as a weapon and added a gnome on top of it you know put tape all the way around it and this is where she said that line that's uh, recycled from the movie Army of Darkness you know the Evil Dead sequel yeah sporting out that reference this is my gnome stick Oy. I don't like the way she talks to she's just so irritating she gets me under my skin within minutes yeah so she started doing all these awkward moves of, of attacks until she got kidnapped by a guy wearing a tall hat and a gas mask so he was chasing the, the kid around until the kid had fell inside an abandoned ship which turned out to be owned by you guessed it Turbo Rider who's now long dead as a skeleton the kid took his suit dresses up having him charged already with the turbo glove which only had uh, a few bars left and wants up blasting all these bad guys and now he's, he's up to save the day <laughs> yeah it, it even has all these special effects of some animation even some sound effects from from any other show that you hear before like the 80s shows they watch so that was perfect yeah in fact uh, the Turbo Rider uh, suit that he wore looks almost very similar to uh, Mega Man yeah because it definitely has uh, the look of it even though it's all colored in red with a yellow uh, star in the mix you know, had the turbo glove and all this other stuff even though he looked more a little bit like the Mega Man's nemesis that was red in some ways so he dresses up killing all the bad guys and was about to go after Zeus and his goons who just captured Apple who wants up inside the Battle Royale Coliseum with Frederick teaming up 
So now uh, Zeus had offered uh, the kid to join in you know, with the suit and even though the pack that he has is not working on his glove, he wants up uh, using all the weapons, you know, in fact he even has a weapon that's a hammer to actually stop all these bad guys and killing them one by one. And, and once they're finally defeated, yeah, they finally um, escaped. Well, um, the kid, which who already saved uh, Apple, just uh, Apple just took him around and began, began to find out uh, her true identity and all that stuff. And and plus, you know, they're about to go to another world so they could be safe from from Zeus and his goons which unfortunately the kid wants up having flashbacks um, of his parents which Sally had been brutally killed by Zeus after he was about to get a drink of water and which we begin to find out how on earth did he get an eye patch later on because uh, the mother actually uh, you know slashed his eye out So that's pretty much where the kid wants up getting revenge on him. So it's up to him to stop Zeus from taking over the entire wasteland, which he did. Killing everybody, all the innocent people out there. Not to mention taking over their water supply. I recently watched this on Netflix after hearing some positive feedbacks. And I admit it. It's not bad. I mean, okay, but nothing special. I mean, it definitely has an 80s style feel to it, even though it pretty much brought elements from all the Mad Max films, other Wasteland movies, and many others. But ironically enough, we did have Mad Max Fury Road and Cunt Fury, yeah, an 80s style film, both of which had came out just before this, or even after. Most of which were much better films, in my opinion. But... What's interesting about this film was that it had a great idea of focusing on one teenage kid who's obsessed with comic books and the fact that he now becomes a superhero to stop all these bad guys from taking over the wasteland. And I thought Mumu Chambers did an excellent job portraying as the kid because not very often do we have a strong teenager in a movie. They often play just bunch of annoying bastards but I'm glad to see that we got one this time around Aaron Jeffries as the arm wrestling champion a cowboy was also badass in this role and sad to say I wish we could see plenty of screen time because of the way they badly mishandle him in several of those scenes I mean granted he gets his hand chopped up with a saw by uh, Zeus's uh, sidekick uh, Skeletron after he agreed not to join in because he was about to beat the shit out of those bad guys even put the uh, one guy's head onto the blender yeah and by the way the movie had tons of practical gore everything from having their bodies uh, sliced, dice and blood spooted all over the entire place I mean they even had some CGI blood in the mix when the Turbo Kid had used the Turbo Blaster on his glove and, and shoots all these bad guys with their bodies explode. I mean, the whole movie is a gore fest. There's no doubt about it. But there is one character that I can't fucking stand. And that is the kid's love interest, Apple. I'm sorry to say this, but she's too fucking annoying irritating totally gets under my skin with a menace every time she opens her mouth she's weird awkward and totally obnoxious I mean she spoots out some stupid dialogue even borrows some references to many films including uh, the movie Army of Darkness the Evil Dead sequel where she actually says the line this is my Gnome stick. That's right. The gnome hooked up onto the the bat. Yeah, which is of course the line. This is my boomstick. 
And then there are other stupid dialogues that she said, such as, Oh my god, this is rad! Uh, oh my god. Um, now I'm not attacking the actress who played Apple, which is Lawrence LaBeouf. She's a very beautiful and attractive actress. I mean, she's a brunette. She has a lovely smile. Yeah, without the makeup and all that, that stupid get up that she has. I think she could do something better than that. In fact, why can't we have a better love interest for the kid? Or better yet, a better sidekick. That's strong, smart, and intelligence. I mean, in fact, why can't we have a strong female character like Furiosa in Mad Max Fury Road? Exactly. Instead of this annoying ditz. I mean, she totally ruined this movie for me. And yes, don't get me started on her true identity. That alone is total bullshit. It's so predictable in so many ways that you never know whenever if she's going to live or die. Fuck that. She's just totally worthless. I mean, come on. I, I think the film would have been a whole lot better if it was just the kid and Frederick. Or better yet, just the kid. Who cares? I don't know what they were thinking when they did that. It just ruins it for me. On the other hand, I did love Michael Ironside as Zeus. I mean, it's great to see him play a villain once again after all these years. I mean, he's been best known for playing roles in, in Scanners and the film Total Recall, so I thought it worked. I mean, he wears an eye patch, he's bald, and he gets to fight dirty. But either way, despite of its flaws, including that stupid character, Apple, it was okay. But there's so many better films out there that I think I'd rather recommend those uh, over this. But if you love the film, I'm cool with it. So therefore, I give Turbo Kid three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.